A public fight over artwork at the newly renovated state capitol erupted into anger today. Governor Mark Dayton stormed out of a meeting of people considering his proposal to permanently remove some paintings from his office when the capitol reopens in January. Pat Kessler is at the capitol tonight. So what happened there, Pat? Yeah, it's always something. This beautiful state capitol is nearing the end of a $350 million top to bottom renovation. There is a political war, though, about what's going on inside. Governor Mark Dayton saying that the Civil War paintings in his office don't represent what is all of Minnesota. The six Civil War paintings inside the governor's office depict battle scenes, including Minnesota regiments at Gettysburg and Nashville. Governor Mark Dayton has suggested they be removed because he says they don't represent the full complexion of the state. I find deeply offensive. At a Capitol preservation meeting packed with military veterans and Civil War reenactors who oppose removing the paintings, the governor unexpectedly erupted in anger at Republicans. You, you hijacked the, the, the operation of this commission for your own political purposes, for your own 2018 campaign purposes, and I'm not going to be a part of it. Governor Dayton abruptly stormed out of the meeting, singling out Republican State Representative Matt Dean for special scorn. The building itself was built as a memorial to Civil War veterans. Dean is leading the fight against any effort to permanently remove the paintings from the governor's office. It's not our office building. It belongs to the people of the state of Minnesota, not just today, not 100 years ago, but 100 years from now. A couple of hours after his dramatic exit, the governor said he's not against Civil War paintings, but believes artwork in the building should reflect the rest of Minnesota. Is, it, is that broadly representative of 150 years of, of Minnesota history? And, and clearly it's not. Well, the Capitol Preservation Committee had already decided to remove two other paintings, Native American related paintings from the governor's office. They are the Treaty of Traverse de Sioux and Father Hennepin at St. Anthony Falls. And Frank, those paintings will not return to the governor's office because they did not accurately depict Native Americans in Minnesota. So, Pat, do the Civil War paintings stay or go, or what happens now? Yeah, that's a great question, Frank. I think a lot of people are a little in doubt about that. The commission voted to keep all of those Civil War paintings in the governor's office. However, the final decision is up to the historical society. They have the final say. They can say in or out. So this is not over by a long shot. And still, it's going to be very controversial no matter what people decide. And quick history lesson, didn't Minnesota have a huge deal with uh, Gettysburg and Union success? Yes, yeah, some of those paintings that uh, were to be removed from the governor's office uh, depict some of the legendary regiments at Gettysburg, Nashville, Vicksburg. Minnesota had one of the highest volunteer rates in the country, and we lost more men, young men at Gettysburg than any other state, a record number of men. That's what this is supposed to be. A lot of people think the Capitol itself is a Civil War memorial. Interesting. All right, Pat, live at the Capitol. Thanks.